there's something special in these waters off the coast of Port Arlington. It has nothing to do with cattle, but everything to do with the future of the dairy industry. At least, that's what these pioneering farmers are banking on. They're harvesting a crop that's destined for the dairy heartland of southwest Victoria. It's a native seaweed called Asparagopsis armata, found to dramatically cut the methane emissions of cattle when added to their feed. We're talking as little as 60 grams uh, of this amazing red seaweed. It can eliminate, in some studies, 98% of all methane that's produced enterically. It's already being used in the beef industry. Definitely seeing more of it, seeing a lot more carbon neutral beef in the market now. Dairy is next in line. Over time, there's no reason why it couldn't become sort of the new normal for, for dairy products. A patent to sell the seaweed is held by CSIRO offshoot Future Feed, with just one Victorian company licensed to farm asparagopsis. The methane emission reduction is a, a huge opportunity for the dairy industry. So this, this is a game changer. Agriculture produces about a fifth of Victoria's greenhouse gas emissions. Most of that is from burping livestock. Asparagopsis could cut that by 80%. That's equivalent to taking two million cars off the road. Dairy farmers have been quick to launch trials of the seaweed feed additive, given the environmental and commercial imperative. If we keep farming the way we are, it might not necessarily be sustainable into the future. So, like every industry, we have to um, keep ahead of time. While the future looks bright for Asparagopsis products, there are still a number of hurdles to jump, such as scaling up production, increasing cost effectiveness, competition from similar additives, and how best to feed it to pasture grazing livestock. Harrison Tippett, ABC News, Geelong.